sure this is on the Wilkie's place. Yep, and it is. Come on, sweetie. I think I do hear a, a miniature schnauzer barking. I think I do hear a... I don't see the studio lights on. Hi, Kenzie! Hi, Kenzie! Hi! Looks like Kenzie was happy to see me. She's always happy to see you. You know that. What have you been doing today? Um, I've been having some fun with my new cutting machine. Ooh, come over here and tell me about it. I can't wait to hear. So, what kind of cutting machine did you get? I actually got a, a Cricut Maker 3. Ooh, the latest and greatest? Is that what's One of them. One of them. Wonderful. Oh, and what have you been doing with it? So we're at some, Turn some of the, off your camera. <laughs> I don't like people taking my pictures. I was gonna take a video, of Kenzie. Just Kenzie. <laughs> Tell me, what have you been doing with it? Um, I, I, some of the very first projects I was think I was doing with it was some standard print and cut projects. Uh huh. With images that I found on Google. What kind of images? Um. Um, they actually were cartoon images. Of. Um, they, 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 You're gonna make me pull it out of you, aren't you? I know how you are. It, it, it was just, it was just, it was just some, it was just some clip art. It was just some images that I found on Google. Of like number blocks. That, that's one of them. One of them. Uh, those crazy character things you just got. Oh, you got the other one today. I do. Yeah. Awesome. Was it one of them numbats? Yep, it was one of it was pretty much all the characters. Oh my gosh. See, all. I know, I know. What do you do? So well, that's fun. When did you get it? Um, the cutting machine, I actually got it um this week. Oh, earlier this week? Okay. It was on a Tuesday. Ooh, good. Do you some of your joy and cards? I did. Oh to buy it. Well that's a good thing. I also got an a hundred dollar bill. Well, I also awesome. used a hundred dollar bill on Was that. Was that for graduating? Yep. Wonderful. Mainly, I get a hundred dollar bills from family members. Yeah, I get that. That's usually how it happened. But for the first time in Aerostase history, um, in Carly W Channel history, I actually got a um, hundred dollar bill from from a neighbor. Whoa! Who's that? The Wagonars. Wow! That was exceptional. That was exciting. So, Did Jeanette. You? Yes. What are you gonna ask me? Come on, go ahead. So, Jeanette, have you ever heard the story? Have you ever heard? Have you ever, have have you ever heard anything? Have you heard anything about? Um, do you think Scampy Willets is mainly concerned about what his sister's going to be doing later this year? Oh, Carly. Carly, Carly, Carly. Why do you think he's concerned Carly, about her? Carly, how many times are we going to talk this topic? Um, we talk this topic to death. Well, um, what do you think older Willets's, is, older Willets's concern is? He's not concerned because it's not a concern. We've already established that, right? Right. Will you turn that camera off? You've got it on me again. Put it on uh, Kenzie. Goofy girl, right? We're not going to do that because it is not a concern. I'm doing it on Kenzie. Okay, you can do it on Kenzie. Hey, Kenzie. Kenzie. So what else did you get for graduation? Tell me what other presents you got. I got um I got a Hobby Lobby gift card that, that that traveled from that traveled from Comanche, Iowa, all the way to Texas. Whoa, that's cool. That's from relatives, right? Yes. Wonderful. What else did you get? I actually, so um today um I got a card for from You're from, still getting them. Wow. I'm from 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 the neighbor across the street. Well, it was it was the neighbor that made the that made the crocheted five. Oh, Floyd and Jean. Yes. Well, that was nice. And where is it to? I'm not sure, but I haven't opened it yet. But okay. but sometimes, sometimes, sometimes when I open open mail, um, like for special from 
like special occasions like birthdays, Christmas, and other special like 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 from birthdays, holidays, or any special occasion. Okay. Sometimes I feel things. I I feel things actually. I actually do feel things inside the envelope. Oh, you're feeling them. Oh, you're tricky. Feeling like like feeling actually right, what's to in, see what's in there. I gotcha. Some. Sometimes I feel like there's some kind of compartment actually in there sometimes that I feel, that's what I feel like, feel like sometimes, like when I open the card, apparently there's, there's something stuffed in there. Oh, really? And when are you going to open it? Probably when I get home, and I also got mail from Alabama today. Oh, yeah, you have relatives in Alabama too, don't you? Yes, I do. All over the country. Yeah, you do. Wow, you're one special girl, let me tell you. Tell you. So, Jeanette. Yeah. So Jeanette, um, so so what's um so what's um Sage and Andy's last name? Coots. So 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 have you have you ever visited the Coots family before? Of course, they're my kids and grandkids, silly goose. So so who's in the Coons family besides Sage and Andy? My son Drew and his wife Jean. So they live in Wichita. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm being interviewed. So, so they're a family of four, right? Yes. So. No, wait, I just want to count the dogs. And the dogs. That makes three more dogs. So how many is that? So that's, they're, they're a family, and they, and they have some guinea pigs. You are so good at remembering how many guinea pig, pigs. I forgot. Three. They, and so, so. And? Do they have a cat? Two cats. I know, they got a lot of animals. They're ridiculous. And, um, so, so that makes them a family of what? Does that make them a family of over ten? Well, see, four, three dogs, that's seven, three guinea pigs, ten, and two cats, is twelve. Whoa. So, mm -hmm. so they're a family of twelve. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So they're a family of twelve. Including the animals, yes. So... So, what have you have, have you have you told me anything about your grand anything new about your grandchildren lately? Anything new about my grandchildren? Any of them? Okay, let me think. Well, they're all out of school now. They yeah. all finally had their last day. Okay. And Sage and Paxton graduated to the sixth grade. They did. They did. Did Paxton graduate fifth grade? Yes. Paxton and Sage both graduated fifth grade, so they're now going to go into sixth grade. And let's see, Beckham gets to go into first grade, he just advanced from kindergarten. He graduated kindergarten? He did, graduated kindergarten, so now he's going to big kid school. He's going to well, first grade? Big kid school, but now he's going to school school, out of kindergarten, into first grade. So Andy's going to be going into second grade. Andy's going into third grade. Her and Bristol. So what grade is Camden going in? Eighth. Did you know Moon Dancer Wilts is going into eighth grade too? Really? They're the same age. Who'd have thought? How old is she? Moon Dancer is thirteen. So is Camden. Go figure. So yep, and that's what's happening. Sage has started swimming lessons again. Well, not swimming lessons, that's not right. She's on a swim team. They've started practicing for their meets. Yep. Oh, neat. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? There sure go. is. There you go. There's a little bit of trivia. So, so what, what else is new with all the grandkids? What else is new with all the grandkids? The boys all have baseball tournaments this weekend. For three days because it is a holiday. What holiday is it? Mo Memorial Day. That's right. So the two older boys are in Oklahoma and Briston is in Wichita and they're going to be playing ball all weekend long. Even so on Memorial Day? Even on Memorial Day. Doesn't quite seem right, does it? I, I know. But that's what they like to do, so that's what they're doing. So, 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 um, so, so, so is Scott also related to Andy? By marriage, 
Yes. So I am I am Andy's grandma by blood. You are? Mm hmm But Scott is not. Kind of like your half sister. Yes. Is your dad's daughter? Yes. Okay. But he's not your mom's one hundred percent real daughter. She's her stepdaughter. Her stepdaughter. And that's what um, Andy is uh, like a step granddaughter. So who are some of Scott's grandchildren? I told you them. They are okay, I'll go through the line. We got Shaler and then we have Gage and Ella and Lincoln. How many grandchildren does Scott even have? A lot. Harper and um, Leilani and Zoe and um, <laughs> so I can't remember. Um, she's Brian's child. She's not really our grandchild, but we claim her. So, what totally state do they live in? Which one? What? What? The um, Scott's grandchildren. Zoe and Leilani live in Alabama. I have. Did you know Scott? And I both have family that live in I Alabama. Know. Isn't that crazy? That is. And Shaler lives in Washington State. And Gage and Ella live in Utah. And so who were the ones that were here for Christmas one year? Um, 2021. Lincoln and Harper, they live in Montana. They were here. And um, Zoe and Leilani were here. So is that Scott's grandchildren? Mm -hmm. That's it. What other kind of questions are you wanting to ask me, ma'am? So imagine if there was a clip on the Carly W channel on YouTube that apparently uh, went viral. Okay. What? Apparently in the video, um, actually had um, it, it actually had twelfth grade Pipsqueak Willets in it. Okay. And could you tell it was Pipsqueak Willets by the clothing? Sure. How could you tell it was Pipsqueak by the clothing? I don't know. I keep telling you I've never seen Pipsqueak. She doesn't show herself to me. She has shown herself on the Carly W channel. But not to me. Did you know, so... You so, keep saying she's around. I never see her. So, did you know there actually was a time actually where, um... So, um, do you think there could have been a time where, where, um, where Pipsqueak Willets, um... Was that a was that a pizza rest was it was that was that a was that a was that a pizza restaurant that was inspired by another pizza restaurant and and it, and it was located and it was located in East Texas a Chuck E Cheese inspired restaurant was it was inspired by a Chuck E Cheese a 2.0 actually uh, yeah absolutely it has to be 2.0 um, and, and 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 apparently it was it was a skit that actually was made on the Carly W channel on YouTube that's actually coming out later this year but I thought it was a the, the new restaurant was a Chuck E Cheese too. The inspired restaurant was also a Chuck E. Cheese. It was it was in, it was a Chuck E. Cheese 2.0 inspired restaurant.